What's up, my 32 Games Lost to Jerry again, back again with another video. I am now at the dealership at another one. I've been here once before, so um, the thing is, is that they got more Malibu's over here too, you know what I'm saying, when it comes down to a nice car to have. And they got some Dodge Chargers that's over here too also. But, man, it's kind of hard to choose from which one I want, what kind of car I want. You know, I'm a Chevy man. But whatever it takes to give, that's what I'm going to have to take, you know. Uh, I just can't be picky with everything when it comes down to a car. As long as it get me from A to B. You know what I'm saying? So, man. Talking about tired, got a headache. Man, and I'm t taking me some Advils and stuff, you know. Been tired for this week, you know. Been doing a lot of cleaning and stuff at the house. And cooking and stuff like that. So, I cooked a nice big meal yesterday. I broke it down to some ribs. Sweet potatoes, and I did some um, uh, noodles with the with the meat, whatever. But it's not spaghetti; it's the noodles. You know what I'm saying? But it was all good. And I fixed a uh, mixed vegetable with some uh, salad for the wife and all like that. So we had a nice good meal yesterday, and we got a chance to sit around the house all day yesterday. So I didn't really have to go anywhere at all. But enough talking. Let's get on out. Check out what I'm looking at right now. You know what I'm saying? When you get down to a car, you know what I'm saying? Because these Malibu's be looking good in the mug, man. They be looking really nice. And I don't know. Maybe I might need, need to get myself into one of these bad boys, all right? So let's go ahead and take a look. But first of all, we're going to take a look at this RT, RX, RXT. And it's a Dodge all-wheel drive. So it's nice and pretty, but let's take a look at it. No, enough, enough for me talking. Anyway, so let's get on down to it. That's what we're looking at right there. So it's a Dodge. All right, that does look good, man. It's more like a gray, dark gray. But, y'all can see as it is, come with some nice wheels on it, with some locks on it, but it's all right. It just got a lot of bird crap on it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the inside of it, it's peanut butter with black trim on the seat. It's a 2016, I believe. So let me get around to it and check it out right quick. I think it is a 2016. The paperwork I'm looking at right now is on the inside of the car, so it fell down. So I can't really tell what's on it. But she's clean. Uh yes, yeah, a 2016 messing up there, man. 2016. I like that. You know what I'm saying? The front end on it looks nice. I don't see no nicks or scratches on it nowhere. Uh yeah, that looks nice right there, you know what I'm saying, when it comes down to that. But then again, there's the Malibu. LT. And this more like a gray also, too. Uh, it come with the rims with no hook cap, as you can see. So, yeah, it looks good there. Uh, this here is all leather seats with no sunroof. And this is a 2016 also too. So just like I said, when you get with them 2018s and 20s and stuff like that, it's gonna cost you a lot of money to get them. But then again, this 2016 might be a better deal. I don't know what it's gonna be like. And they come with a dealer warranty. You know what I'm saying? So 2016 is a, it's a good year. You know what I'm saying? But then again, I ran into another Dodge that's sitting down here too. Uh, this is all black. That one right there. That looks nice. Dodge All Wheel Drive S SXT. Jack Black. And it's black inside too with the cloth seats inside. They kind of look dirty. This is a 2016 too. Pretty nice. You know what I'm saying? So, man, I don't know what the SRT really stands for, man. I don't know what kind of horsepower this might have in it. But I wouldn't mind finding out. Is she an 8 or what? Dealer warranty also, too, with this bad boy. So she got to be the big boy. Maybe y'all can tell me. But, yeah, there's no nicks and scratches on it also, too. So... That's one thing about it. 
No nicks, no scratches on this car. I'm taking a very good look at it, making sure everything looks good on it. But yeah, she's just dirty. But just like I said, I don't like black cars. I don't know why. It's hard to keep them bad boys clean, especially after the rain and stuff like that. So I really don't want to get down involved with that too much at all either. Then you got a bunch of Nissans sitting over here and stuff like that. Some I don't want to get into. The Nissan dealership called me up and they want me to come look at a couple of uh, Nissans. And I told them I'm not into no Nissan car. You know, I don't want them. Uh, they can pass me up on that one. Then you got a couple of Hondas out here, Fours, Lexus out here and stuff like that. And then you got a Dodge pickup truck that's sitting over here, man. I mean, that's white 2017. That's what I like right there. I'm always been a Dodge person too. I always had Dodge pickup trucks. You know, I had two of them at once. One big boy, and then I had a small one with a stick shift. But this big boy here is the 1500 four door. You know what I'm saying? And the bed is not that big at all anyway, but it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Come with tent windows already on it. Uh, no sunroof in it. Nope, no sunroof in that. That's all good. Maybe I can pull out my drill and I can put a sunroof in it. But that's the only scratch I see right there on the front bumper right there, as y'all can see that. Uh, I don't think I see it on there so far. But yeah, that Dodge Ram 1500 is nice, man. That's that's a big boy. Now, if I had a choice of taking a Chevy pickup truck over Dodge, I'd take the Dodge. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not really a Chevy pickup truck person. I like the Dodge more better. Then you got a Chevy Camaro in here, 2015. Nice well, Jack Black. Cloth seats inside. And this here would be a stick shift in this car. You know what I'm saying? So she got a stick shift in it. I know what she'll do. If I had it, I'd be spending them tires every chance I get because they easy to giddy up and go when you got a stick shift in it anyway. But yeah, Sonata that's in his uh, Sport 2.0T. I can't stand those. I always had one of those, but I ain't looking into one of those no more. But yeah, that's all I see over here at this dealership. But then again, I like that Malibu. You know what I'm saying? I like the uh, Dodge too also. So I'll be coming over here on, on uh, Monday after work. See if I can get a test drive in this car here for one. It's a 2016. But the thing is, I want to see how many miles on this car. There can't be a lot of miles on this car. And I'm hoping that it won't be. But it come with a dealer warranty. So we're going to see what, what they're going to say about it. You know, once they uh, come in on Monday. And I think this one here, let me see. It come with a backup camera on it too. So... That dies against that other one that's sitting down here the other side down there. I think that one's a better shape there, but I don't know. That gray one is nice. But that's what Lost Who Jerry's trying to look at, man. But as y'all see, the dot mobile is out here. I've been, don't talk to the car wash and everything. Got all cleaned up. I ain't even put no tire shine on it yet, but uh, I just went on here and throw it through the wash. And the thing is, my exhaust is messing up. So as y'all see, just a little air coming up out of there so yeah i can see the steam but just a little air coming out of there i need to go ahead and get those taken off get it replaced and that way i can get back into business man i take but just like y'all see uh seven malibu against those dodges man i don't know but uh I don't know if them Dodgers will last a, a long while with me or what, but when they say all-wheel drive, that means I guess you can pull and go with no problem, you know what I'm saying, when it comes down to them Dodgers. But I'm going to figure it out, you know. If the number come out right, then Lost Jerry Jerry's going ahead and jump in one of them, you know what I'm saying? But uh, i got to make sure the numbers is right, make sure the down payment is good, you know what I'm saying, without putting out so much. Uh, as far as I want to put out, it's like maybe 2000 I don't want to put out no more than that when it comes down to getting a car. So, 
I know what my limit is. I know where I want my car payments at. You know what I'm saying? And it'd be good from there. That way I can go ahead and get the full cover insurance on it. My full cover insurance won't cost no more than about $55 a month because of my age. 32 game. You know what I'm saying? The older you get, the cheaper your insurance get. So, um, I ain't got to pay that much at all. For liability, what I got on this car right now is like $27. But it's good insurance, you know what I'm saying? It's through Illinois Vigils. And I can, anybody hit my car, my insurance will cover it, you know, with no problem. You know, you ain't got to have no paperwork on it, no police report on it, nothing like that. Hey, that's what I pay for. So, man, I just can't wait to get into one of them. But anyway, my third two game, Lost with Jerry, I am out of here, man. Because Lost with Jerry got to figure out which one of these cars he's going to end up taking home with him sometime next week you know what i'm saying and that way i can put a bigger smile on my face i ain't gotta worry about nothing at all okay but that's how it's gonna be with me all right so lost with jerry i am out of here all right peace and don't forget to hit that notification bell y'all been doing a great job hit that notification bell all right make it go ding ding i want to hear some some bells ringing out there all right i appreciate every last one of y'all peace i'm out